King Solomon, the biblical figure known for his incredible wisdom, wealth, and the construction of the magnificent temple of the Lord, also carried a significant burden – 700 wives and 300 mistresses. The story of Solomon's life is one of great promise and early success, but it ends in disappointment and a moral downfall. This video explores the reasons behind Solomon's extensive marital relationships, the consequences of his choices, and the lessons we can draw from his life. Solomon's Early Promise Solomon's ascent to the throne occurred when he was a young man of around 20 years old. His reign began with immense promise and opportunities. As the second child of King David and Bathsheba, he was born into a family that followed the ways of the Lord. Growing up in a palace rife with conflicts and wars, Solomon's childhood was far from idyllic. He witnessed the tumultuous actions of his older brothers, such as Ammon and Absalom, which threatened his rightful claim to the throne. Upon assuming the throne, Solomon received valuable guidance from his father David, who emphasized the importance of following the Lord's commandments and laws. King David's parting words set the stage for Solomon's reign, emphasizing the significance of unwavering faithfulness to the Lord. The Wisdom of Solomon Solomon's wisdom is exemplified in a profound moment described in 1 Kings 3. 3. When God appeared to Solomon in a dream and offered to grant him any request, Solomon chose discernment and wisdom. He sought the ability to distinguish right from wrong and to administer justice wisely, demonstrating his selflessness and dedication to being a just and effective king for his people. God was greatly pleased with this choice, and Solomon was not only granted wisdom beyond compare, but also great wealth and honor. Building the Temple In alignment with his father's vision, Solomon embarked on an ambitious project to construct the Temple of the Lord. His prayer for the dedication of the Temple marked the beginning of his reign. Standing before the altar, Solomon offered a heartfelt prayer, invoking the Lord's faithfulness and fulfilling the promises made to his father David. This momentous beginning set the tone for his rule as a devout and just king. Solomon's Moral Downfall Despite his early wisdom and devotion to the Lord, Solomon made two grave mistakes that marred his reign, as recounted in 1 Kings 11. He allowed his heart to be swayed by foreign women, marrying 700 wives and keeping 300 mistresses. While some of these unions were politically motivated, many were tainted by immorality. The consequences of these relationships were disastrous, leading to the erosion of his values. These relationships fostered a culture of immorality within the kingdom. As Solomon aged and became less cognitively agile, he was increasingly influenced by his foreign wives. The consequences. It underscores the importance of remaining devoted to the Lord in all circumstances. In 1 Kings 11, 7, 14, the Lord's response to Solomon's actions is clear. He informed Solomon that the kingdom would be torn away from him, though not during his lifetime, for the sake of his father David. The Lord raised adversaries against Solomon, and the division of the kingdom was set in motion. Solomon's Reflection in Ecclesiastes Solomon's legacy includes three biblical books, Song of Solomon, Proverbs, and Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes reflects his contemplation of life, wisdom, and his mistakes. Despite his fleeting pursuit of happiness through various paths, Solomon found that a life devoid of a relationship with God was ultimately futile and empty. Material wealth, wisdom, and pleasure could not fill the void in his heart. Solomon's choice to marry 700 wives and keep 300 mistresses stemmed from political alliances and moral failings. It led to his moral downfall and the division of his kingdom. His story emphasizes the importance of unwavering faith and devotion to the Lord, as true joy and fulfillment can only be found in His presence. Solomon's tale is a poignant reminder 
that even the wisest can falter without a steadfast commitment to their faith and values. In the end, it is the spiritual wealth that truly matters. If you found this video enjoyable, please consider liking and sharing it. Additionally, subscribing to this channel will ensure that you receive more updates in the future. Thank you.